come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination, at least as far as, uh, you know, podcasts go. I mean, that's all we really want. I don't want to. If you take over the world, Actually you got to like. Taking over the world. Yeah, because then you got to be in charge of shit. Right. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't want to really do we that. We just want to be the most listened to. Mm-hmm. Podcast wise, I think okay. we can do it. Yeah. So okay. you just want to be an influence, not a ruler. There you go. Yeah. Influence yeah. is way better than ruling. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No one person should be in charge. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it's not. There's four of us. That's true. Okay, so that's, anyway, well, it's we a are the council quorum, right now. Is that, right? Those, is, is, that the, is that the hemispheres? Yeah. Like we each get a hemisphere? <laughs> <laughs> earth, air, rain, fire, yeah. and water. What am I? Earth, air, fire, can and I, water. Can I get the fifth um, element? Isn't that love? Oh, no, we're doing the elements? Are no. we Captain Planet now? Okay. okay. No, we're the fifth element. It's, oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. We All right, have so, gone off the <laughs> the, oh, by the way, you can help us out with this. Yeah. Welcome to the stream of consciousness. That we're on. Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the quest can be helped by you by going over mm. to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button or ringing that bell on YouTube. Mm. Punch that bell. Mm. <laughs> is this is the thing we do now. You know, That's we're thing, like right? on. Uh, I mean, what? you can you can ask your smart device to play us. You can. You That's can. right. Yeah and, yeah, and it will. If you have um, a robotic house like Colin does. That's right. Right. We'd say it right now, but... But it's listening. But she'll yeah. talk I suppose to us. I should turn that off. To Which we ha- I have noticed know. that when people say it in commercials and stuff, they do it on purpose. Did you guys... Yeah. To get that. <laughs> like, it's built into advertising now. Did you guys ever watch Eureka on the Sci-Fi Channel? No. It was a like great... the cop show? No, no, no. Yeah, it was... It, well, it wasn't a cop show. No, it, was, I mean, it was based around a cop. Right, yeah. In the town was, of Eureka. He was like, you know, like the, mm. you know, Joe Lowe, like, yeah. Yeah. down home cop, yeah. but it was like the smartest town in the world. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And he had, he lived in a smart house that like took care of him. <laughs> and I always think about that because that was so like cutting edge at the time. The, the house like talked to him and stuff. And now and I'm like, like Jesus Christ, we're and now there. we can't get him to shut up. Yeah. The houses just keep talking to us. That's weird. Oh, she turned red. She's angry. She, oh, I angered, angered it. I angered it. What did you do, Holly? I'm sorry. Yeah, right? I'm sorry. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I right. turned the mic off. That's okay. 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 She's not happy about that. Ooh. No. Glaring at us. All right, so uh, well, I mean, now we're a couple minutes into this, but you probably want to know if this is your first rodeo. Who are these people who are talking to you? And I will tell you, they are the internet radio superstar, Holly, Sean, and I'm Colin. Michaela is on assignment Mm -hmm. this evening, so she missed tonight's movie, which was chosen by Sean. What did we watch tonight? We watched 1984's The Initiation. Ooh, directed by Uh, Larry Stewart. Do we know Larry Stewart? Colin said earlier that I was going to be mad at Larry Stewart. Oh, I was just... Uh, oh, okay. It sounded like Larry know. Block. Oh. And, I know uh, there's this historical feud between right. you and the writer. You think that Sean... Now I'm just, uh, you do, think I'm just against all Larry's? I know it's like Sean has beef with Larry's now. Is that it? <laughs> it depends on the Larry, but I mean, Larry Block... <laughs> yeah, I just saw the name Larry. I'm like, well, that means Sean. They're probably. good Larry's and bad Larry's. I like Larry Bird. Yeah. <laughs> this has got to just be good Larry's. Like, they can't have a bad Larry. You can have Larry like Bird. a... Uh, uh, maybe a... Deadbeat Larry. That's Larry hard. Block. Yeah. <laughs> um, a <laughs> lot of TV from uh, Larry Stewart. Okay. Um, a lot of Charlie's Angels. I mean, the Incredible Hulk, Police Woman, the Bionic Woman. Oh, so wow. A lot of early stuff. Okay. Fantasy 70s. Island, the Waltons, Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Okay. Here's Boomer. That's a dog, a sheep dog, I believe. Uh, I believe it looks like this was his first film. Oh, okay. His first okay. First okay. okay. And he took this over from somebody else. Am I Paul I... Crane. Who's he? He was a director as well. Um, I don't know. Do you know what from I before? Don't know, uh, yeah. All I know, he uh, I th- also a lot. I looked him up earlier. Also a lot of TV as well. Mm-hmm. Um, he was hired on this. Uh, uh, not many people wanted him to direct the movie. Uh, mm-hmm. This was Paul. But yeah, because okay. New World Pictures produced this movie. Um, this was this was the Roger Corman era, though, right? Nineteen eighty four is yeah. That's yeah. before he sold it. Before they got the logo yeah, that yeah, everybody yeah. actually knows. But yeah. yeah. Um, and they all thought he had his sensibilities were a little too European and the producers were really looking for no, no, we just want to like an, just an American slasher movie. That's yeah. what we want. Because that's the thing, right? We've established on this show, if you're a longtime listener of this show, that yeah. the American slasher movie is a distinctly American movie subgenre. Yes. Kind of like the Western. Yeah. Right. The British have their gothic horror movie. That's their Western. Yes. Right. 
we have the American slasher movie. That's our Western. That I doesn't make any sense because we have we have them both. But anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, where, where what? <laughs> well, I mean, it, well, it's, it's like it's the thing that um, uh, other countries look at us for, for a while. They're looking at us like we made the Western and mm-hmm. we had the Western legends and all that right, stuff. Right, right. And so we got to a point where like we distinctly made something and it was the slasher movie yeah uh-huh. and they looked at that and i mean they've tried to recreate it and or uh, or well we were saying I elements think, along those lines as well there's a, now the the american slasher movie obviously has its uh you know i mean like the italian giallo movie but yeah. that's like its yeah. own thing i, I was gonna rules. say I, I mean italians i think had a pretty good grip on slasher yeah, but, but, those aren't, but those aren't really but not, it's different it's yeah. it's, yeah. it's but but are they a different genre or different subgenre I think they're both subgenres of horror, uh-huh. but this is the American one, I guess. Okay. And Giallo would be the Italian one, but they are yeah. there are features that make them distinctly different. I think. No, I agree. Yeah. And we were talking. Sean and I were talking. I think maybe Holly was. You might have been upstairs. That so far, We've and, and I'm sure that you know, like the listeners are going to go like, there's there's dozens of examples, but we right. pinned down three examples of foreign films. Trying try to, to duplicate the American slasher, trying yeah. to make their own version of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I believe we've covered two of them on this show. That would be okay. Slaughter High, which was British. Yeah. Uh, Don't open until Christmas, which, which was British. Yeah. Which was uh, produced by the same people, I believe. As Slaughter High. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Stage Fright was an Italian movie, which does not feel like a giallo. And that's, mm-hmm. I think, how you can tell it because you're like, when you watch it, you're like, it doesn't feel like a giallo. Mm-hmm. It's a slasher movie. Yeah, it's an American okay. slasher. Movie. Slashers you know. don't get that that ethereal, dreamlike feeling usually. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Maybe more so in the eighties. But well, they would also giallos usually involve like adults, uh, mm. and you know, um, us American slashers, we like to kill kids. Yeah, it's all it's teenagers. all about the teens. If it's God about teenagers, <laughs> then <laughs> usually you are people. in a slasher movie. Yeah. 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 And a slasher movie. For old people. Those hooligans. And they have like Getting a certain. Trouble. As I was watching this movie tonight, I was like. Okay, so I mean, now this kind of uh, like the the scream brand has right. kind of like taken this entire genre onto itself. Yeah, yeah like, it's like it, it's, it's that's the only thing now. that they have really coming out that is like you know that feels like these kind of movies where it's kind of like it's a mystery, right? Yes, yeah, so there's always that mystery element built it's, in. Yeah, it's that's the who done it. Who's the killer? Yeah. Right, and the killer is usually, I suppose, it's like an Agatha Christie thing, and uh, you know, yes, absolutely. But there's going to be the ten little Indians, one by I one. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And the ten little Indians were one of them. Uh, the killer. I hope it was Donald Pleasance. But uh, the, you know, it's like so. In your group, there is usually hidden the mm-hmm. killer, yes. or the mm-hmm. killer is coming into the group, but he yeah. has connection to the group, and that's why he's killing everybody. That's yes. the motive. I'm reading um, a really good book right now that's very much like that. It's called The Guest List. Okay. Ooh, See, yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Guest List, The Invitation, The Initiation, yes. yeah. like the, all these things. All right. It's a good one. <laughs> so I have uh, questions about the title. That it shouldn't be called The Initiation? Why is it called The Initiation? Well, there's vaguely an initiation in here. Yeah. Vaguely. Is it like, but so, I mean, like a title of a movie kind of says like, this is going to be The Initiation. Yeah, because this is The Initiation Prank. Most of the movie is based on this end prank. Yeah. And that's part of the initiation process. Yeah. Most of the movie takes place in a shopping mall. I bet you didn't see that coming. I did not. I thought it was going to be more frat party. Yeah, I thought we were doing more sorority stuff and everything. Yeah. More uh, college dorms. Yeah. uh, Less uh, soap opera drama. Oh, yeah. By the way, a listener at home, uh, 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 welcome back to college. Uh, yeah, Sean, and, Sean and our back to school, school. And our, and our back, starts this yep, week. In yeah. our back to school uh, times, we thought this was for you. Uh, mm-hmm. Enjoy school, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, fitting for me. Tomorrow's first day of school Perfect. where I, where I work. Uh, so <laughs> there you go. So I mean, yeah, I, across the country, should we initiate so Holly we tonight said, somehow? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> uh, see, this is where we, this is where we find out Michaela has been in on this plan the whole time. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, come on down. <laughs> she comes down and then just a murder fest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's well, where the plan reverses, and me and Colin are dead. So, what I thought this was going to be, to tell you the truth, based on the title, right, mm. is like, okay, it's the initiation, and basically, we're going to find out that uh, our protagonist is getting got into a sorority, mm-hmm. and it turns out the entire sorority is a coven of witches. Mm. But oh, that, yeah? that might okay. be the initiation of Sarah. 
Mm-hmm. Which, if any of you have seen that, it was a 70s TV movie and it was remade in 2006 as another TV movie, but the title is kind sounds, of out there. Yeah. It sounds the, wonderful. The Initiation sure. of Sarah. So that's okay. the Satanic <laughs> Coven movie. Okay. This gotcha. is not. This is a slasher no. that has nothing mm-hmm. to do at all with initiations, aside from, as Holly said, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's the prank at the end of yeah. Hell Week. What was the other one we watched? Hell Night? Uh, I don't think we've done Hell Knight. Have we done Hell Knight? I thought Holly brought Hell Knight. Maybe oh, with Linda Knight? Blair? Yeah. Yes, I did okay, bring that. Yes, I did bring Knight. that. There's, yeah, yeah. We didn't do Hell Week. And we did um we didn't do Sorority House Massacre, but we did we did, s- we did Sorority House Massacre 2. two. Yep. Yeah. Which okay. has nothing to do with no. the first one or <laughs> the third one. <laughs> And, you know, like usual, I was here for it, but I don't remember a goddamn thing about it. Just a oh, lot of people running around in 90s. Yeah, yeah, I saw negligee. a lot of those same 90s earlier yeah. in this movie. I do remember the 90s, and you all got mad at me when I said that we don't actually wear those. Yeah, it was... Uh, right. Uh, we yeah. were disappointed. There was yeah. also, every time it happens, there was also a lot of uh, nightwear talk today. Sure. Or tonight that we yeah. had based on what was happening here. How they look very uncomfortable. No, yeah. just the girl, no, the it's young true. girl earlier in the, in the, th- in the neck to toe yeah. nightgown in the beginning, In the beginning of the movie when we see the, the little girl walking towards the, the, fire, and the, the fire, fire and everything, she's wearing like a classic 80s little girl nightgown. It's like long sleeve and floor length. And I did have some of those back in my childhood and they are not comfortable. Yeah, I was just exclaiming no. that I didn't understand them. No, mine was really. like satiny, but like the inside was almost flannel. And then it had like elastic around the around the wrists with like lace uh, and torture device. Yeah, yeah. It the, was, around the yeah, yeah that stuff. It was very uncomfortable. Mm, and yeah. I and the buttons were like pearl. I don't know. You know, way Just, back in yeah. the uh, ye olden times, oh. uh, men also wore that kind of that like it's like a dressing gown. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, but, like that was their shirt. They would yeah, just tuck it into their. Pants, but that you'd sleep in it too. But sure. it like went At, all like, the way Ebenezer down to your... Scrooge. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Running around with a candle and a little night hat. Uh, yeah. yeah, kerchief. People don't wear little night hats. Anymore. I know you don't. Nightcap, you don't. Yeah. You don't dress appropriately for bed. Our bed. I am not going to lie. Too. I can see Colin wearing a nightcap. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Do you wear those to bed though? Yeah, like, you know I, I mean, you wear, Ebenezer like, Scrooge did. Yeah. Wear, I, do you wear it to bed, or do you wake up in the middle of the night and put it on so your head doesn't get so cold? You, no, I think are they, you they, supposed they, to wear that while you sleep? Yes, because cap? back then it was really cold. Yeah, I, I think guess. that. Yeah, okay. they, were just they would cold start their fire, time. but they can't keep it going all yeah. night because they're sleeping. Yep, so, yep. nightcaps. They have nightcaps. Yeah, nightcaps. yeah. Okay. and yeah. then we turn that into boots. Yeah, because that would warm you up before you went to sleep and knock you up. All comes together. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so this now one, I just uh, assume that that's what Colin wears to bed. Yeah, <laughs> like he's Colin definitely goes, has a candelabra can- next yeah. to his bed to investigate Absolutely. whatever we're wrecking I mean, comes up to his doorbell. Oh yeah, yeah. and like Ebenezer Scrooge, like all the locks on my bedroom door. <laughs> his, his I wait ent- on every Christmas Eve to hear. Okay, his entire house is wired, but he has a candle. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, his bed. yes. See, he, Colin loves to mix the new and the old world. <laughs> like he loves technology, but he also loves the like that gothic energy yeah. of, of old. He's so. like Alexa, light my candle. Uh, <laughs> oh, candelabras, that would be great. LED candelabras. No, that'd be defeating no, the purpose. It has to be a candle. <laughs> Uh, what movie we watched? What's, yeah, the, what's yeah, what, happening? What's happening? <laughs> the initiation. So, of which there is minorly one. Yeah. The, kind of at the beginning. We okay, but, but before we get there mm. to the okay. the whatever it looked like. Okay, we're going into the satanic, uh, you know, movie realm. Right. Sure. Because so, there's a scene, but we're going to talk about it. But first, there's a flashback. We okay. are introduced we open to this with movie. A flashback. Yeah. yeah. And we know that it's a flashback because it has that nice it's 80s gauzy gauze. All you were right because we go right into it, and I was like, "Oh, this looks bad." It looks like they smeared Vaseline on the lens. But it's yeah. the 80s gauze. <laughs> That's yeah. a style the 80s thing. Fuzz. Yep, yeah, that they do back then. Yeah. Okay, so um, what happens? What? So this movie. Okay, so there are <laughs> this movie shocks, is the- surprises, twists and turns, and we are going to spoil them. Yes, probably in the discussion of this. But um, so fair warning. Yeah. Okay, so what do we see? In the opening scene of the, the instigating incident in this movie, see a young lady wake up and start mm-hmm. walking down the young lady. Through. She's the a young twelve year old, twelve year old, yeah, nine, yeah. nine year old girl. Thank you, Holly. Yep. Uh, uh, Here is noises and starts walking down to her parents' room. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I just want to say, like the orange glow coming from the, this movie is also about how you don't build a fire inside. <laughs> Just how not to do it. That's basically. the subtext. Yes. Don't build a fire, or or how to in do your it house. Uh, like badly. Well, yeah. you really got a fireplace, a roaring fireplace, roaring because it's a romantic scene. She's walking. In. Yes, because she is walking in on her. Uh, it's the walking in on your parents having sex, but she realizes that is not her father. 
who was but romancing her mother in the bed. Yet. We don't know that yet. So you get the feeling right there. Yeah. No, I mean, okay, so do you? I mean, I guess well, I did, when, but I realized when, when I'd the seen guy this when the guy comes when home, the guy yes. runs in. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's what. So th- we see naked bodies writhing on a bed, and yes. we're like, yes. "Ooh, what's going on?" And then it's revealed that yeah. it's Vera Miles, yes, from and Psycho and Clue Gulliger, Gulliger from and everything. we're like, "Oh God!" And you kind of recoil. <laughs> yeah, because yes. that's not a sex scene you want to see. Yeah. No, not particularly. I think it was body doubles, probably in the nude scenes. Who knows? I don't know, but you maybe either- these two game. Uh, willing uh, seasoned actors were. Oh, but I mean, you really don't, you you really don't see much. Yeah. You, don't, you don't see much. No, but tangled up legs um, and stuff. Yeah, as much as we didn't want to see it, the little girl didn't want to see it as well. Mm-hmm. Right, and that so, was the horrifying part for me. It was this poor sweet child walking having in to see on, that. Yeah, yes. and so then yeah. she. Um, I mean, the her fa- actual father comes home. This is what we're getting. Yeah, we from see this point. a man in a suit come running into the bedroom. Right, who's very not happy with the yeah. sex that's going well, on. I believe before that. Oh, before that, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. why did she stab him before she, it? She, she creeps, realizes. It's she realizes. Her. Yeah, she creeps so, up to the bed. Yeah, but just so the audience gets the sequence of events here, girl goes into room where a couple is having sex, raging fire with a raging fire. Then apparently Cut the to. girl. <laughs> yeah, there's a stabbing. Yeah, somebody which we believe is the girl stabs the father in the leg. Yes. right. Or the yes. man in the leg, and then. Another man comes into the room in a suit, very angry, and the uh, man in the bed pours alcohol all over him and pushes him into the roaring fire that right. Sean has advised us you don't want to have in your bedroom. I only say this because the flame is like two feet higher than the than the fireplace that it's in, and it catches that guy on fire and he burns to death. Well, dun, he, dun, burns. Dun. He, he burns. Is, he burns. He's engulfed in flames. Okay, so that's yeah. all we know. Yes. So we're saying we're taking it from this. The presence of another man in the bedroom means that there's an affair happening. Yeah. Here. This you get. You know, this feels very much like oh, uh, a husband came home from work early and found his wife in bed with another mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. It's straight that yeah. with a uh, uh, toddler stabbing in there somewhere as well. Yeah. But and toddler. so I guess you would take it then. But I don't know if you were at the time that the toddler is stabbing. Stop the, saying toddler. The guy, yeah, not toddler. Sorry. She's nine. The nine year old girl <laughs> is stabbing the man who is the uh, is having a, a, a sex with their mom. Yeah, correct. Okay, so that's what you got out of it. All yep. right. This is interesting because, like I said, my second rodeo with this movie was <laughs> tonight, and it did play different than it did the first time around. What okay. did you think the first time? Because, because well, I don't know. The first time, I don't remember if that crossed my mind. I just remember. My first viewing of this movie was less than favorable, <laughs> and this time, knowing where it was going, I'm like, okay, let's see how they set this up. Right. Yeah. Now that we know, let's yeah. see if they... And, I, well, I guess that's what we'll we'll eventually mm-hmm. get there. Okay, so, this is revealed to be a dream. Yes. Mm-hmm. A nightmare. Of Kelly. Okay, and Kelly is played by... Got her name. Daphne Zuniga. Zuniga. Yes. Mm-hmm. Zuniga. If I'm saying that right. In her introductory, it says introducing Daphne Zuniga. Yes. She had a very small part in the dorm that dripped blood. Prior to this. Prior to Another this. Another sorority college movie. Yep. And horror so, movie. Yep. And then she was cast in this. Uh, this is before her uh, breakout role. I don't know. In Spaceballs. Mm-hmm. Well, she was in The Fly 2 prior to that. Mm-hmm. Was it? Was she- it before that? Fly two, and she was in soaps and stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah. And I think I had seen her in something for me. Anyway, else. This is only the second thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, no, her, like for me, she is Princess Vespa. Yeah, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Per- mm. And watching her acting in this movie, I'm like, well, they cast the perfect person. She's a she's got that bratty attitude. Yeah, she works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in this movie, I was actually kind of watching her, and I'm like, oh, she does have that kind of like. You know, it's not star quality necessarily, but it's like she is a pretty good, you know, performer. She's a pretty good actress. I, I thought based on her work here, I I would have it was so. better so. than, yeah. you know, sometimes what I, I'm used to seeing in slasher movies of this yeah. vintage. Okay. You didn't think so? I was kind of right on. This feels just about right for this movie. Okay. No, between between her and the assistant professor, I thought the acting was actually really good. The assistant, but the assistant professor and the professor, I thought was the best acting in this. No, about, you're he's talking about the, between her. And- he's the assistant professor. Him? Yeah, he's a grad, oh, is he? He's a grad student. Uh, he's a teacher's aide. Yeah. Oh right, TA. Yep. You are correct. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get into who all these characters yeah. are and how they relate to each other. But yeah, I mean, I guess she comes off well. She comes off like. It's like, all right, you would cast her and stuff because yeah, I think she's good. got she's got the the goods. Um, so she's haunted by this nightmare. Mm. Okay, 
Yes. She and she thinks it, it's yeah. a nightmare. She has a therapist, right? That she talks to? Who does she talk um, to? Well, no, she she keeps having this nightmare. Yes. And at one point, she tells her roommates yes. in the sorority that she had the nightmare again. And then she ends up um, saying that she wants to write about nightmares for her thesis paper. Mm-hmm. And she goes to talk to her teachers, the teacher's assistant, assistant, and she's like, oh, I want to do dreams and nightmares for my term paper. And he's like, are you just doing that because it's my thesis? And, it's in a very gr- aggressive yeah. introduction to this uh, Nathan Fillion yeah. Jr. character. <laughs> yeah, this is Peter yeah. Adams. Peter Adams. Yes. Who keeps, who keeps he saying be, that. He should be Mr. Adams, but he keeps telling the students to uh, call him Peter. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, and we get that there might be some kind of little spark between her and uh, Mr. Adams. Oh, there's chemistry. Yeah, yeah there's some <laughs> chemistry. Um, because I think she's also because we're introduced to kind of the the college life and her sorority sisters. Oh, oh, that's what. I, the, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. missed the uh, yeah the opening. Yes. So the right. actual opening, she has. We a should nightmare. probably talk about the rare effect, right. like the rare initiation part of the, the movie. The rare sorority yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes. yes, we should mention it and not skip yeah. over it. Like that's right, because she wakes up from the nightmare, and the scene where we get is a bunch of girls with candles, wearing negligee and nighties, standing around her bed. Yeah. Uh, chanting. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck? This feels like satanic as hell. Mm-hmm. But it's actually yeah. like, come on, pledges. We're coming down to the it's two uh, o'clock in the morning. Yep. Yeah. And so they lead them, lead her and the four other girls down mm-hmm. to like the whatever sorority room where there's mm-hmm. capes and fucking candles everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is going to be your pledge week and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is going to be your, going into hell week. Hell this week, is yep. what's happening. Yep. There's a prank and a party. Yep. And they list the events for the night. And, you're not and allowed we're introduced to, to Megan. Yes, who's Megan, the, who's the, the madam of the house. actually 65 years old. She, I mean, she, yeah, I wouldn't say she looks like she's the older. She's been there a long time. Yeah. She, okay. 60s is pushing it. Maybe 40. She looks like she's she, 40. Oh, she's definitely 40. She looks like she's 40. Yeah. She's definitely the unofficial house mom. Who shouldn't been, be there anymore. And she's been smoking like, since she was 11. Yes. Yeah. Like, Do exactly. They have yes. house mothers like uh, anymore? Or is this Megan's just the queen Not, of the sorority. And so yeah. she's, she of course, is, the yes. like main. It feels like, well, I don't know, main antagonist. They set her up like, obviously, she's going to be... Like she's the big bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's bossy and, you know, all this other stuff. And, and she seems to enjoy hazing yeah. the new recruits and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So. Which and, seems pretty standard from yeah. the Lifetime movies that I've seen about sororities. Right. <laughs> you never get, like, a kind, you know, like, a, you know, <laughs> right. whatever. It's like, no, yeah, no, no, we're no, just no, going to no. do this. It's like, oh, oh you you're, know, you're kids. feeling bad? <laughs> okay, go home, take care of it. Yeah. yeah there's no. No, never that. Um, so they're, they set up that they're going to have a prank at the end of the week. And at the end of the week, the prank is going to be because apparently Kelly, our main character, her father, Clue Gulliger is, um, like the head of uh, Fitzgerald, right? I give him a name. Fairchild. Fairchild. Fairchild, Sorry. (laughs) So he is the head of, uh, he owns a a shopping mall. Yeah. It's like he's a developer, but he's got his name on a big building. It's a shopping mall. (laughs) This is very, I don't know, this is very confusing because <laughs> they they say that he owns a department store. Yep. It but is. this is a fucking mall. It is. It's very confusing. And it's more, I mean, in your mind, you might be thinking about a suburban mall, but this is, uh, I mean, it's in suburbia and it's like, you know, just a freestanding building, but it has like seven stories and a galleria yeah. where you can see, you know, up all the, yeah. the, 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 the store, the levels, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's very, huge. It's huge. It's, huge. it's way bigger. And, and like you said, many levels more than a mall ever would. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that we know, for all right? I know, so yes. This, I'm this not, is Dallas I'm not or wherever they, yeah, they filmed this. Dallas had some malls. Yeah. So had some malls. <laughs> um, Okay, so their prank is they're gonna they're gonna go in and they're mm-hmm. gonna the girls are gonna seduce the night watchman. Not, not even that was that even was that part of the thing? Well, I mean, implied they like their the goal. Like the goal was yeah, the goal was to steal his uniform. This and is how the dumbest while yeah. he's wearing. How this? else yeah. do you get a uniform? Right. Well, that's what I thought yeah. they were gonna. Yeah, that's but, the yeah. But why is this the dumbest? Yeah, is that a prank or is that the the like uh, the challenge of uh, you know that you put your pledges through being or just both. being able to do it? Yeah, it doesn't come off as more as a prank. It's like you need to in order to get in, you need to prove that you. Yeah, can Yeah, they this. should have stopped using the word prank yes. because this is an initiation. Okay, yes. that, so yeah. that is the initiation. It is yes. the initiation. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to okay. go steal this. It's like uh, Kino in uh, or Kino in, in Turtles Two, where he's got to get all the bells off the off the mannequin. 
There you go. Okay. <laughs> so, Other people out there will know what I'm talking know, about. Yeah. And thank you for supporting me. <laughs> your listeners. You're among your people. Yeah, <laughs> the blank face is staring at me. You're not helping right now. All right, but there's a side it's been plot a hot minute since in I saw this that. movie. Ah, all right. Yeah, so, yeah, so I have a kid and I've watched it 50 times. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> side plot suddenly interjected into the movie. We Ooh. cut to a sanitarium way off in the right. movie, 300 yes. miles away. And we're introduced to, to the nurse. worst n- nurse of all time. Oh, well, there's Nurse Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet is, yeah. is she's like the word from uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah. Like every single uh, female head of a uh, you know like sanitarium is patterned on mm. Louise Fletcher. I swear to God, like there's no break in that. No, mold. it's no. like Nurse Nurse Ratchet. Yeah, no, so, we've stuck with that for a long <laughs> yeah. time. We set the bar, and we don't. We yep. don't. It was like yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway. At this place where uh, there's a bunch of uh, confined people, both in the um, the male and the female dorms or yes. whatever, the, the rec rooms. Yes. We're introduced and see, this is where direction in a movie becomes important because there are key things that we are shown and not shown here, which uh, set up this entire movie. Yes. Because the nurse, head nurse, goes over and talks as she goes through these patients. She eventually comes to a woman staring at a window. Yep, and the woman is staring at a gardener. Yep, and a burned gardener. He has horrible facial <gasps> burns and hand burns, and he has a garden tool, he does. a three pronged garden tool, which mm-hmm. he's plugging away at. And the nurse senses that uh, this guy is causing a disruption among the. F- well, I, I initially I took it as among the female uh, patients, but, but it's, it's everyone specifically. Yeah, it feels the, like- yeah. Now that you look back on it, like okay. It's that person who's clenching her little fist, staring out the window. Yeah, yeah. and smacking yeah. her leg. We never get to see the, who this person is. Yeah. and no. they don't really, in, you know, they don't accent it. Yeah, they don't focus her. She Mm-mm. is there, which almost passed me by until we got to later in the movie. I'm like, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so it did trigger something, and you were like, oh, okay, I get it, yes. because it is like, you know, it's one of those like stealth things that. It so really is. But I guess that's what I'm asking: is like, is this the way that this movie is directed? Is this? Uh, is it playing fair or does it feel like by the end of it, they pulled the rug out from you under you and gave you a cheat or did they go like, Nope, we set the whole fucking thing up. And it was if there. they hadn't done this. Yeah. I would have been like, come on, but they did. She's there. Yeah. There's, and, it, and if you go back and look at it, you're like, okay, yeah, they're obviously, she's right there. Yeah. Looking yeah. out the window at him. He looks up at her, yeah, yeah. Yeah. not the nurse who's there. Yeah, yeah. So no, they did. Okay. They're lucky. They're no, <laughs> but this is, maybe this is Paul Crane they're, they're and his sly sensibilities. About it. Yeah, they're sly. <laughs> okay, but we don't know what the hell's going on as no. viewers this time around, right. or the first time around. So um, there is a disturbance. Uh, all the patients get riled up, and then somebody goes through, and at night we get the old Halloween, because this is post Halloween. You get the point of view camera mm-hmm. of someone wandering through the apparently unlocked doors at night yeah. and let all the patients out into the courtyard mm-hmm. where they then accost the head nurse when she comes because they hate her. Yeah. And they sing Ring Around the Rosie and they kind of attack her and she gets into her car. But it turns out the killer is in the car <laughs> and we get our first slasher slashing yep. of the movie. So. I guess uh, she gets stabbed repeatedly with the trowel, right? Yeah. Yes, it is the three pronged mm-hmm. thing which they've already set up. Belongs to the gardener. Yes, the so, burned gardener. Right. Yeah. So, um, well, I'll ask that question later. I guess. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the, it was the the question of you know, um, at the time that these movies were being made, there was a uh, very harsh reaction from parents and critics groups about the level of gore in the movies, and so. The Tom Savini extreme gore mm-hmm. in the movies that he would do, uh, they were like, no more of that. So they, they kept on cutting it back and cutting it back. And this is 1984, right? So this one kind of skirts by. There is bloody killings. And aftermaths, yes. But yeah, nothing, It's they don't feel like big special effects moments like a Tom Savini murder. No, it mm-hmm. feels, it's more, uh, they're definitely smaller, especially like certain killings. Like I think it was Allison who gets killed at the front desk and everything. Mm-hmm. Like It's a smaller murder, but it also feels like, it's, it feels, it's still very effective. It's pretty brutal, it's yeah. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, they're brutal in this yeah. movie, it feels like. But For what we do get to see. But you can tell that they've cut stuff. Like there's like the scene when they walk into the bathroom and find the dude with his throat yeah. slashed. 
Like, I know we missed, like, obviously we missed that kill scene. They didn't even show it. But yeah. I'm like, I feel like they filmed that kill scene and we just didn't get to see it. Okay. I wonder. I don't know the story on yeah. this movie. I, I know that, you know, we once watched uh, My Bloody Valentine. And that was a movie that, you know, I think played kind of anemic until you saw the full version. Right. And then you're like, oh, man. Like, that actually does have the brutality of gory murders. Yes. Is it exploitive? I mean, I suppose yes. But it does add a punctuation that mm-hmm. slasher movies kind of live on. It's like you have to have that, and it it, cause it hits you fucking hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, this one was like, I guess it there was enough, because um, th- I've seen others that, like, just avoid it completely, or it get, gets cut out, and it's like they fade from your memory, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. kind of. I think there was some good ones in here. Again, the brutality of it, maybe it pokes through a lot more for me. And it's mostly hackings and stabbings. And stabbings and, and stuff, like yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, where we actually do see, like, you know, lingering on. Right. The- Insertion. <laughs> yeah, and what have yeah, you. yeah. Um, <laughs> you child. <laughs> you child. <laughs> you child. <laughs> Insertion. So, um, the nurse is killed, and then there's a phone call made to the 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 fair child. Yes. Yeah, yes. And again, like the information that's given here is uh deliberately misleading, but uh, I think Clue Gulliger answers the phone. It's very dire. It's like there was a, there was a, a the inmates escaped from the institution. Mm-hmm. Right. And Vera Miles is all worried and she's like, "Did?" And he's like, "Yes." Uh-huh. But it's 300 miles away, you know? And so from that point on, he's on high alert, right? Yeah. Clue Gulliger. So he's going to leave his family to go see his mistress. Well, yeah, because that, that comes up <laughs> later. But before that, Clue Gulliger, like old time movie cowboy, <laughs> gets his gun. And this right. is Chekhov's gun. And I like this because it actually did play out exactly how you're supposed to do it in a fucking movie. But he <laughs> has a, a, a gun. He's like, and yes. so like he hears a sound he outside. He hears a noise outside. Mm-hmm. And well, he's no, to be fair, it's, it's the pot sitting on their front step that was shattered. So. Sure, but oh, he, so somebody like, actually, he yeah. thought yeah. he heard a, uh, someone screaming murder. Like, it's that was his reaction, <laughs> it felt like. I mean... Because he goes out, like we said, full cowboy. Like, he's posing for the poster. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's going full cowboy. Well, even you made the comment that, like, well, some actors can't take the cowboy out. I right, mean, like, like what's a, he done it for so long? For so long, it's just the way he does it now, yeah? Those we, old co- old cowboy routines never leave you. We're like, saying right, this. You're supposed uh, to own a department store. <laughs> yeah, he could have been a, like he worked his way up. He was a ranch hand back in the day before he made his million. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. He's his, got a belt buckle his on. His pappy was in the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Clue Gulliger at this point in time. Uh, he grew up with cows. It just wasn't for him, Holly. <laughs> well, he has passed on. Uh, I think he oh, died yeah. like uh, Not only ago. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wow. It yeah. was recent. Um, he would probably be most not- uh, known to this audience for uh, Return of the Living Dead, mm-hmm. I think, or Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. Um, I mean, he was in other horror movies, The and Kindred, he, uh, uh, Uninvited, Uninvited. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so remember he's on, Uninvited. So he's on the wall. Uninvited. This movie, he's got to be. Like, we didn't do Return of the Living Dead yet. Well, it's Clue Gulliger. Clue Gulliger. Clue Gulliger has been in so much stuff. MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show <gasps> Wall of Fame, informs us that Clue Gulliger Woo. is tonight being planted on the wall. Yes! yes. yes. Tonight's movie, The Initiation, uh, Uninvited, mm. uh-huh. as you mentioned, and The Hidden, he was the lieutenant right. in The Hidden. Okay, there we go. Well, yeah. I think that's, that's solid. He goes on the wall. Yeah. He's got an interesting Bravo name. Clue. Clue? Yes. CLU? Yes. Uh, he's part Cherokee, apparently. Okay. And Clue Clue is uh, a Cherokee word or name for a certain type of bird. And that's how he got his nickname. And nice. so, yeah. Them's my people. Yeah. <laughs> the bird. Yeah. And his, Clue uh, the bird Gulliger. Oh, well, his, his son. Uh, John Gulliger. Didn't he win that Project, Project Greenlight. Greenlight? Yeah. Yes. And so Feast. Feast is a yeah, and he's in Feast. Yeah, he's in Feast. Clue, 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 Clue is in Feast. And his final movie performance was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, he Quentin is. Quentin Tarantino got him. He collected seller. him finally. Yeah, who sells uh, Margot Robbie the copy of Tess? Um, yes. I think because so. Clue Gulliger was like a like from the way I understand it, uh, Clue Gulliger would go to the New Beverly Cinema owned by Tarantino, like to see the you know he was a big movie goer. Yeah. And, yeah. It's a pretty good movie to go out with. 
Yeah. Right? I mean, it's a bit part, but, you know, it's like, hey, I don't care. Still, uh, but, yeah, your, but that's, yeah, uh, you know, that's, the, that's the spice. It's yeah. The, yeah. The that was Luke Perry's things. last one, too. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. 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 Good one to go out on. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> uh, so he's armed and ready. Now back to Clue's questionable choices <laughs> in 80s horror cinema. <laughs> um, so uh kelly no uh she doesn't know anything about this because um she she goes to the uh a teacher's assistant because yeah. he's writing this thesis on nightmares and dreams right. and so he has a whole lab it's like a sleep study lab it was yeah. it called the dream something he the dream box the dream dreamland i don't know he calls it something dream yeah. tape, dream something uh it's kind of like Dr. Dreamland. Peter Venkman's special That's little uh, <laughs> deal down in the basement, yeah. except he's got an assistant down there mm-hmm. uh, who's a student, I yep. believe, and they've been working on this for a while. Uh, 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 yeah, like two scientists alone in a basement for like two years, <laughs> how they've gone a little nutty. It kind of feels like they have that. I uh, love them. <laughs> yes, they are very fun together. A we'll, uh, later scene does drive home that point. But yeah, they're, they're fun together. They have a, yeah. a slightly antagonistic relationship, which is good for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. So this sets up the uh, like, OK, we're going to we're going to find out why she is experiencing this dream, this horrible mm-hmm. dream about, yes. you know, the fire and the strange. Right, man. She has amnesia as well. It's a beautiful dream. That's what he says. <laughs> She's like, hey, like yeah, and I remember a, fire. a man burning alive. It's like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it has all the elements. That is a very Peter Venkman type thing. It's just like beautiful, beautiful. Want to she- it over dinner? <laughs> She ends this scene, uh, Kelly does, by staring at herself in a mirror yes. and getting lost in space and being yeah. like, I have to go. Yep. And we're yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. It's that, ooh, I almost ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's that. <laughs> uh, this is where Holly is claiming that she had an insight into where this movie was headed. Yeah. Why, why do you say claiming, Colin? I'm because not on anybody's <laughs> side here. I'm not on anybody's Only side. Because, because if, he doesn't fucking believe me. If you have these uh, insights. You must shout them out during the movie. Them. Because at some point, like, because I'd seen it before. So I'm checking. I'm like, well, who do we think's doing it? And they're telling me, like, well, it might be the gardener, you know, right? Because it could be him. Cause, you know, it could be the teacher. It could be Kelly herself could because be they said that yeah. she has. It mm-hmm. could be Vera Miles. I saw a blue hoodie in those last mm-hmm. parts of this. I'm like, she's the only one other one wearing a blue hoodie. Like, this is the fun of slasher movies, it right? Is. It's trying to figure out who did it, and then you're going like, well, I, I'm betting, I'm hoping that the the movie at least is playing fair, right. and I can figure this out. Mm-hmm. Holly cracked the fucking code based on the mirrors. I did. Yeah, that's true. Do Not we good. have to write into? <laughs> yeah. Do we have to write into the bylaws that? Officially, if you have so a guest, you, you have, must shout it out have to shout during it out. the movie, or so or you, you cannot claim she, knowledge so afterwards. You're, so you're telling me that every time we watch a movie, every theory I come up with, I have to shout it out. <laughs> only in slasher who done it. Yeah, it's like, only, oh, when, only when you're that's, guessing. That's the, killer. the stipulation. It's, okay. well, but that's the, okay. what the movie is. The movie is going I like know, guess who the killer is. So yeah, bonus points if you're the one who guesses who the killer is. Mm, okay. Especially if it's something <laughs> like there's a because I'm one of those. Sean was shouting them out. And he was wrong in every single day. <laughs> Everyone, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. And I'm mm-hmm. sitting there going like, yep, that one's not. Nope, nope, nope you're right. way off. I'm like, yeah, you said it. Nope, nope. I didn't say it because this movie doesn't leave like any sort of breadcrumb trail that would suggest that's what it's going to be. Is it playing fair? Like, I don't think it is. No. Okay. It, gives, it gives us so little to go off of. I don't think it is. Because I'm saying I on a second watch, I'm seeing that the yeah. stuff is there, but it's, it's so obscured. small. It's so small. On first viewing, on it is not. I agree. Yeah. It is but not isn't this fair. what like a mystery is supposed to do? A mystery is supposed to go like, okay, you know, here's, I'm not here, mad at it. Because here's 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 where I thought of it. Okay, so are we spoiling it? Are we saying, did we already say it? I don't know. I think, well, let's drop the bit. I think Sean already I did. Think Sean We've already, already did. talked about it, but just in case you missed yeah. that, spoiler warning. Three, two, two, one. Fucking hell, it's twins. It's twins. <laughs> I fucking hate twins. Um, oh, it, I, forgot I, that, I forgot that Holly hates <laughs> twins. I hate twins. <laughs> I hate twins. This is perfect. No, but here's the thing. So at that moment, she looks in the mirror and she gets lost, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking... What would what would make her like go to this other world by looking in the mirror? And I was like, if she's recognizing this face, but it's not her own face, mm. it's got to be either schizophrenia and she's seeing her other personality or she has a twin. It's one of the two. I was thinking it could be twin because earlier on the first like dream sequence that we see, 
the cut is really yeah is really I quick. Caught that yeah, this time she's around. standing in the doorway watching, and, and then, then all she's the, somehow and then on the all other of a side of the she's bed, right next to him, and yeah. stabs him. But at the same time, I was like, "Well, it's a dream. Maybe it yeah. would happen that quickly." Uh, and then and then I was also like, "Oh, this movie isn't that kind of movie to do." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I caught that on this on this yeah. watch, knowing that that's where they were going. I'm like, I wonder if that was if they were setting so this up so like they're right yeah. both there. They're both I think there. They're both, both there. there at that but yeah. the movie then explains why she doesn't see the other girl because she suffered amnesia. So right. this is like a second yeah. thing that's like, yeah. oh, so you suffered amnesia. So too. when yeah. she walks in, she's first she's shocked to see her mom and this dude doing it, but then she's also shocked to see her sister standing there with a knife. Mm-hmm. That's yes. her like two levels of shocks that we're not so understanding. Blasted yeah. into amnesia because it was like overload going trauma. on. Trauma. PTSD. You know trauma, yes. PTSD but amnesia. Maybe the movie needed a scene where we see the flashback with the two girls in it. Yes, it did. It, but I it doesn't thinking, have that. I was thinking that later on. I was like, oh, that's like what it needed. La- yeah, yeah, that for would later. Have been good. Like all of a sudden, you know, once she meets her twin, she has the, the flashback. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And like, oh my God, you killed it. Yes. You know? well, that's, that's what, I what was, it needed. That's what I felt was going to happen at some point that we would get. Now, I thought it was for a different reason because I thought we'd like flash back and see that she was killing everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but I, I guess maybe I wanted that. That kind of solidifies it or something. I don't know. That's like movie language that that would have made it like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, I would have had mm-hmm. that like, all right, now I see what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it's hard watching movies like this. It's hard to really pinpoint where they're going to go with it just because in the eighties they didn't, they didn't go with something that wasn't obvious all the time. You know, like yeah. a lot of A's movies went with the obvious choice. It's just kind of cut and dry. Well, that's what I was wondering for this yeah. movie. I'm just like, are we, are we going to, cause when they, at the end, when the, the gardener does show up, her father, um, I was like, are we just going the straight route where it's him? Can't be. That's just, yeah. Because but in they, the eighties it could be. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what, well, yeah, yeah, right. that's what yeah. makes it so confusing. Like it could be that. But they yeah. don't play that. That scene is not played right. You know, like you can yeah. tell just by the way they're playing it. Because I was listening to again yes. you talking out loud, going like, <laughs> "Oh, there he is. Wait, is this is this really him?" Because they're not right. making yeah. like a big deal there out of it. There was no big deal made about suddenly he's there. Right. And so yeah. you're like, okay, so that's wrong. Something's wrong there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know that as, as yeah. a viewer that there's something they're not. They're you know this is not right. obvious. Right. Either they're bad at their job or something has not yeah. been revealed. Yet. And I didn't think this movie was you know we kind of talked about it how it's not like in the eighties it's not psychologically there yet to have her be the actual killer the whole time. Right. Like yeah. It, I don't I'm think it's, it's too that... early to go Shutter Island with it. Yeah. <laughs> right. you know? well, so when did that start coming around? That I wonder where all, that couldn't well, be part of it. It felt this. to me like the nineties had like this really heavy focus on psychological, yeah. you know, I love it. Um, <laughs> because you know, so you many, are the nineties. Huh? I am. <laughs> so many nineties movies had psychiatrists as heroes and, you know, and they'd have that, like you were the killer all along and then yes. the psyche shatters. Oh, yeah, and that's because we were on the, like getting into the mind yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So which the, the 80s the... didn't really kind of do that so no. i guess that's why you're saying you're like wait, wait, are we here yet are we are we doing yeah, that that's what i was like time? it can't be there yet yeah and i was like so is it a twin like it's got to be because that's yeah. the only other way that yeah. the 80s would have done it is it's a twin okay yeah. okay All so right. holly has shown her receipts uh, so <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate this uh this chain of thinking yeah that gets us to the twin ahead it's of like the- i'm sorry that i didn't show my work okay <laughs> There's yeah yeah I mean, fuck I can't say it now but there's another movie I mean, you that did. pulls you the did. same thing that, uh, I just did yeah that does not like play fair at all it's just like bam twin and you're like what the fuck and it pissed me off um but I can't say the name of it but maybe you know one how day like Michaela gets show. mad when there's more than one monster. <laughs> I get mad this when it's is you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's virtually the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, just a different right. flavor. Yeah, yeah it's just a, a twi- the twin of the monster showed up. Yeah, well, an actual twin showed we up. We both have both the same monsters. <laughs> we both have the both same Both very passion. scary. <laughs> well, okay, so so the audience doesn't know that there's a twin at this right. point in the movie, right. and so it's playing this whole game of holding this from you. So there is um, eventually. Um, I know there's a lot of family drama, we said, and then we find out yeah. that Clue Gulliger is having an affair, apparently, mm-hmm. and that takes him, like, he gets goes out to the car, like, he's going to go to uh, see this other woman that he's yep. seeing, mm-hmm. because it's like, oh, that's right, we don't know yet that he is, he, he had an affair before, mm-hmm. and mar- then married her when her husband burned up. Two months later. <laughs> two months <laughs> later, and now he's having an affair again. The Serial cheater. Yeah. So yeah. he uh, goes out to the car and then is 
stabbed to, with the garden hoe thing and then beheaded okay. with, yeah. a, a with a machete. Yeah. Well, then there's a joke. Uh, <laughs> a joke, I think, a joke we made just before the joke was yeah, made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I swear he'd lose his head if it wasn't attached. Yeah. Yeah, as, yeah. as Vera Miles sees yeah. somebody driving away. Ha 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 ha. It's uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how, That would work, though. I like that. Because we yeah. all reacted, and I'm like, this is kind of maybe how it would be in the theater in yeah. 1984. Yeah. I was wondering how this young girl who's been in an institution her entire life knew how to drive a car. Right. This is the twin. Do Maybe somebody name? gave her lessons. Do we eventually get her name? <laughs> That's a Halloween Terry. joke, everybody. Come on. Oh. Terry. Her name's Terry. Terry. Yeah. Okay. Terry. Like uh, the blood, dis- blood, blood disturbed rage. brother from Blood Rage. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Tom Terry. Uh, so Terry and Kelly. Okay. So, um, so the way that we're... Okay. So... There's a party, um, a repressed, uh, what a desire. Repressed party. Sexual, re, yeah, a repressed sexual desire. Where yeah. everybody comes dressed up as pirates and uh, and blind people. I and, saw a mime. Uh, a and a mime. Yep, I saw the mime. Um, uh, well, and I think Eve is also I was like, there. There's Adam and Eve. Yeah. Yeah. There's one the, of them. There's yeah. a Playboy I saw, Bunny. I mean, I saw Wonder Woman. Yeah. When they try to seduce it's, the Playboy Bunny. It's tries a, it's to a seduce fetish the, party. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There's actually someone dressed as a dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone is a full on dick, like an intricate giant costume like with balls and pubic hair. Yeah. yeah. Like this was the, the reason the head you is on his the movie. Head. This. No. <laughs> 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 I think this is the picture we Googled last week. And we're like, oh, I, and I showed you guys. I'm like, this yeah. is the movie we're watching. Because yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I looked, I was like, oh, what is this movie? Yeah. <laughs> It's a picture, yeah, the two uh, people what is coming she? to the... Yeah, because he's dressed as a giant I, dick. Like, what is she? Um, she is supposed to be like David Bowie or uh, some kind of punk rocker yeah. because Trash from Return of the Living Dead the uh, next year looks exactly like that. The where red, did he get this costume? Made it himself. He made this costume? I'm hoping. I believe it. Because he's a, I mean, if he's he did, a, that's pretty good. Because <laughs> he's supposed to be a comedian. Like, he yeah. labels himself as a comedian in this movie. He so. did a really good job. <laughs> it's like... Like, yeah, the, like if there was a stage play that needed a giant dick, yeah. like this is like the I feel like he he phoned in on the balls, but the actual <laughs> shaft and head are really good. I mean, yeah. God phoned in on the balls. Let's just all say that right now. <laughs> Nobody was thinking too much there, but yeah, he, yeah. he did. His were very round, <laughs> very round. Yeah, like grapes, <laughs> like very round. Yes, and he was very pink. <laughs> well, just progressing through. I'm and trying he was to hitting him with his hands as he was walking. And everything. It's, it's like one fun. of them dinosaur costumes, except it's a big. Giant Basically, okay. yes. Uh, so oh, Jesus, what, what that's was the, the next trend on the internet? So that scene served the <laughs> purpose of around, crashing into each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. I promise, Colin. That's what, what the internet is nowadays. Yeah, Continue. What, what did that scene do? What do we get out of it? What do we get out of it? <sighs> I was too distracted to. Okay. Get anything from the dialogue? I mean, it's, I mean, the whole party. I guess. Oh, like, the party. I guess. What does the party oh. yield? Why is it in the um, movie? Because well, there's like, there's a whole thing where they talk about Marsha being a virgin and what's his face is trying to like. He's like, oh, I can right, help you change a that. Subplot. Yep, Marsha yeah. is one right. of the pledges. There's yeah. Allison, Kelly, Marsha, and uh, Beth. Another, Beth. Allison. Allison, I mentioned. Okay. Yeah. And so they're basically the pledges. And yeah, there is like this whole thing about like whether she's a virgin or not. That pays off. And there's a character arc, which it, is like. I mean, pays off as being generous. Pays off Colin. as being positive. It sounds like yeah. a positive pays to this off movie. From a writerly perspective. They're like, we're going to set that's, this up and pay it off. And that's your character arc, Marcia. Jesus Christ. It's, is that it's, really, it's, it's, okay. I yeah. don't think it's a payoff. That's. Giving it too much credit. It does. We need to find a better term. It yeah. does pay off. I hate saying it for it, this moment in this movie. A, there's a show stopping moment in the movie where, you know, they, they all get drunk. Okay, so the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the movie, just, yeah. they yeah. go. So I guess what I'm trying to get at <laughs> is uh, it's established that Kelly only responds from hypnosis by being called out of it by her mom calling her Randall. So we know, like, okay, yeah. you know, Kelly as, Randall. as the, the mystery continues. So this puts. The uh, teaching assistant and his um, assistant. assistant on the trail of discovering what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then there's that scene that you have in a lot of movies where there's, uh, you know, documents presented because they've done their research. I love these scenes in, in movies. Oh, yeah. Like, Did you know? Bam. Here's the document in 19, whatever. 
Like there was a fire. There was a real fire, and this guy was burned horribly. John Randall. Yes. And then, bam! Did you know that right. John and Randall she's giving him dead. papers, ripping him off the hand, giving him another <laughs> yeah. paper, giving her story through this way? F- it's a great newspaper moment. The fact that she is a research assistant makes it so fucking believable, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like she would do this. Yes. So she knows that John Randall was the guy. So this was an actual memory. It was not a dream that she was having. A memory of the fire and whatever. And yes. John Randall is now the uh, the the uh, groundskeeper at the sanitarium, and so suspicion falls on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, he's out killing people. Mm-hmm. Okay, then the pledges all go to the mall because they're going to break in <laughs> and do this thing, and this becomes like the second half of the movie. I mean, yeah. like a good portion of it then takes place in this mall, yes, where all the groups split up. Some of them are hanky panky in the whatever Persian rug room. Uh, you know, um, yeah, the two most annoying characters in the movie, Megan and yeah, Andy. The, and what Andy is it? Andy, I think it's Andy. Yeah, people yeah. are Andy, playing Andy pranks on people, just the worst. He's the worst. Like, yeah. I don't see the attraction to him. He's just, I don't think they're, hair. I don't think they're, I mean, Megan obviously Megan has an attraction, him. but I wonder why. I think it's because Megan's 45 years old. Um, okay. I don't know what people see in people, true, true. <laughs> I see people together all the time, and you're like, what in the hell was going on there? Very true. But, it's like, you know, how, the, how did that yeah, happen? I don't know, they yeah. got, uh, but the writers, did they cover it? I don't know, because we're like, I don't know. Are you get ever it. insecure that you're that person? The people are like, how did she find someone? Or how did he get with that person? Oh, yeah, I'm, well, I mean, I assume. I, assume <laughs> I have to be with like, someone for that to happen. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Something, yes. So, I, I, <laughs> we're all yeah. single. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, somebody has thought that of you, though. At some point in the past, like, uh, how did they get to be wait, wait, with wait, that person? Which side? Wait, which side am I? There's a right answer to yeah. this. Yeah, you're the the. How did he get to be with her? Thank you. There you go. <laughs> um, who knows what people think? That's why you can't even think about what people. That, think. I mean, that's very true. All right, so thank you, Colin, for the, uh, the, yeah, the, the wisdom. Live, live your damn life. Wow. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night freak show wisdom. So the slashings begin mm, in earnest and right. people are killed off right, sure. left and center yes. in this movie by yeah. someone who's lurking around with a harpoon gun. Yes. Yeah. A harpoon harpoon gun, gun and a knife, knife that gets broken out of a thing. Um, um, bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Yeah. We get our third. Is it our third? Second shot of nudity. Yeah. Which was also a discussion in this movie, like yes. how the nudity beats that you have to hit. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we were surprised that they pulled yeah. it off uh, more than once. Right. Yeah. There was this, there was a shower scene. There was like a full full frontal shower scene, yeah. and then a second one late late in the movie, which right. you usually which, don't get a top right. scene late in the movie. And, and we did, didn't think we were going to get it, yeah. right. but you could feel it coming <laughs> when they talk of distractions and when I was like, yeah. you distract yeah. him in any way possible. Right. And yeah. you, but we then know I what point, that means in the end. Then I point out, I'm like, oh, security guard's already dead. So we're like, oh, so we're not going to get it. But right. lo and behold, you're they in a mall. figured out a way to do it anyway. She had to try gr- on the... You're yeah. a girl in the mall. You change, you change your shirt. You got to go shop there. I mean, that's what they say, right? Obviously. Bravo And it's the movie. 80s, so no bra. Right, yeah. exactly. There you go. Um, but then, um, so all of our characters are rushing to the mall, basically, um, you know, because this is where the, the climax is going to happen. Right. right? Mm. And we're still going like, but okay, it, who's killing people? Because it's possible, right? That it could be Kelly because she right. never seems to be in a paired the, up the first, when the murders happen. The yes. first murder we get was the security guard. And Kelly went to the mall before the rest of the sorority sisters, right? She was supposed to be like the first one there. Yeah, to so. unlock it. Yeah. Right. It's her dad's place. Right. So we see we see someone kill the security guard. But yeah. we you know, at this point it's like, well, it could be Kelly. She's supposed to be the first one there. Yeah. But we're not sure. Um that was a great kill. The scream. Oh, oh. the security guard. Oh yeah, the security guard who's wandering who looks like Errol Flynn. Who's wandering around? Uh, eventually, does get killed. He gets stabbed with the same uh, gardening yeah, thing, gardening tool. Yeah, but he he gets stabbed in the chest and he screams at the top of his lungs. It's and it's great. It's great. It's yeah. just wonderful that yeah, you would just he good. puts so much energy into screaming like he probably could have fought her off and got away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, there's a lot of energy put into that scream. Well, like, knowing. Who- <laughs> <laughs> Knowing who's killing them later, I was also checking for reactions like, uh-huh. oh, it's you. Or like, wouldn't you right, sidle right, up right. to somebody going like, hey, it's, you know, because I expected that because I couldn't remember. I'm like, does she kill people pretending to be Kelly? 
But she never does. Well, I, in, except in one right at one, the one end. Part. But if no one knows who she is, they're going to assume it's Kelly. Right. 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 So right. you could have scenes where right. we see Kelly killing people and go like, what the fuck? She's totally doing it. And then surprise twin. But they don't do that. No. Right. right. I think they go as far as just matching the hoodies to make you. They know what yeah. they're doing at the we end of We see movie. somebody moving around and it's like, oh, who is that? And it then, looks like a female from certain angles yeah. or shadows and what have you. And again, everything matched up. The jeans, the hoodie. It just looks like she's doing it mm-hmm. yeah and they make you question it very much so in the end of this movie and then you know uh um uh, there is the scene where i believe it was allison the skate the roller skate right. uh, roller girl yeah. top changing girl mm-hmm. ends up uh discovering well it's not the killer's lair but there's always that scene in slasher movies that i like to point out because it occurs always about at the same point in the movie which where she finds all the dead bodies. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and there's the screams and then it's like, you know, she informs our hero that there are dead bodies. And now it's like, OK, mm-hmm. there is a killer on the loose and we have to do something about it. Yes. And this sets up the usually chase, you know, narrowing it down to the killer and the, the, the hero. Yep. But this one doesn't really do that. Mm hmm. Because we still don't know who the killer is, although he does apparently appear the the burned guy. And we're like, right. oh, shit, you know, just introduced out of the blue moving bodies around. It's yeah. like he is the killer. Or is he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there was a scene where he's pursuing uh, Kelly up the ladder where I'm like, as knowing where it's going, it's like a couple mm-hmm. lines of dialogue here would change this whole dynamic. But he can, they keep him silent. He can speak. Yeah. Because eventually he's like, Kelly, Kelly girl, or little girl, Ke- or little, Ke- little Kelly, little Kelly. Where are you? Yeah. yeah. And she clocks him out with a, a pole and knocks yeah. him off the roof <laughs> of the and building. It's like, and it's like, I can see, I can see the, what the director like had them doing because you can, you do get the vibe that he's like trying to talk to her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, like, like you, you, you get a no, vibe. Come back. Yeah. You get a vibe that like, he's not there to hurt anybody. Yeah. It's, it's like. Well, and okay. al- and also at this point you're like, well, why would he be killing everyone? That makes no right, sense. Right, we don't know the motive. Right. There's like no motive there. Right. Because oh. yeah, that's what we're saying at the end of this. It's like, all right, it can only be certain people because like, well, why is he doing it or why are they doing it? We're yeah. slowly trying to narrow them down because we still got Vera Miles who's having slowly a uh, mental breakdown. Right, yeah. Because she knows kind of the things that are happening here. She yeah. knows of her other daughter. She knows. Yeah, yeah she knows the that they've she pulled knows this. Uh, they've, they've made, they've done this. At some point there was yeah. a scene where they were like, did we concoct this whole story for kelly right or for us yeah you know? and we're and like it, whoa what are they talking yeah. about yeah, and yeah. at this point she knows that her husband's dead yeah yeah she's in her long flowing 80s widow lobe a robe yeah you know? yeah with uh, yeah yeah and yeah. marcia has earlier. made her startling show-stopping oh, confession oh, forgot about the show-stopper. that she was raped when she was 12 years old by her science teacher. violin teacher violin, violin teacher. teacher yeah which leads to reconciliation <sighs> with the guy who is dressed up as big giant leads, dick. Right, at least yeah. reconciliation and sex. And like, sex with the, yeah. yeah. This whole part was just a I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't. Yeah. She got it off her chest. She got they get drunk and she confesses this and then I think he genuinely is like, "Oh shit, you know, I'm yeah. joking around and all that." And like yeah. he genuinely likes her. And I think, but, yeah, and the mo- but the movie goes like right back into being the movie once she gets it from the table and leaves. Yeah. Like that killer music comes back in. I'm just like, oh, well. yeah, because you got the other guy. I got to go take a leak. And, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And they split off. And then uh, after having sex with uh, her uh, boyfriend, then he's murdered. So she has two yeah. uh, horrible <laughs> sexual experiences. And I was watching her performance after that because I'm like. How do you direct that? You got to tell her like you are devastated. Yeah, you are because not only is like somebody dead, but like this was like y- your first love, yeah, or whatever. Like you got to play that, and she does okay. It wasn't a hundred percent of a sell, but I think that was probably yeah. director coaching. Yeah, like for but she was for pretty this, good for, for this, this level of movie. Yeah, she yes. was pretty not good. Not bad because yes. Daphne Zuniga is not as terrified as I think she should be in those moments. But anyway, right. agree, and then yeah. there was like a a, a a suspense sequence where uh, Marcia gets dragged into an <laughs> yeah. elevator. The elevator thing is great. Yeah, they go up, the killer's coming, they get in the elevator. They, it's one of those old time elevators with the doors that close uh, top to bottom, yeah, right? Yeah. Like a freight yeah. elevator. And it goes up, and then uh, uh, the killer appears on the roof of the elevator, 
and starts coming in. When the door opens, Kelly's she, like, "Fuck this!" And she's like, "Let's go!" And <laughs> look, she, she abandons it. her friend because. But Marcia her bear friend also tries to bear walk out of the yeah. elevator. Like, and on so her, the, the killer fours. like somehow gets down on the ground. And we just get that and she uh, grabs her by the ankle and pulls her slowly <gasps> back, yeah. screaming into the elevator. The very funny. Close. A bigger budget movie. That elevator would have closed on her. Yeah, 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 right? right. Yeah, yeah, or, for yeah, sure. Or yeah, she would have grabbed it and then slammed it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 True. What was there was something else we were like <laughs> uh we thought um uh not Allison the um was it Megan? Megan. We thought Megan was going to get shot and go over the balcony and we we're what like happened to Megan? Th- she got she shot, got with, a shot with a bone arrow. But she didn't, oh, she did. It yeah. was, she got shot in the chest. I oh. thought I thought she was going to get shot in the eye, but it was just in the chest. And we but we thought it was going to be well, yeah, cuz yeah. I think if you would have had Tom Savini, it would have been in the eye or, you right. know, if they had a bigger budget, she would have gone off the uh, yeah. uh, Friday the 13th part 3, we'd get that nice shot of the thing going right into her eye. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um and so then uh then Kelly confronts her sister. Her sister shows up surprised right. because uh, well, sister well, the Nathan Fillion Jr. Yeah. finally makes it to the mall because he's figured Oh yeah, dad's gone off the thinks. roof at this point. Yes, yep. she's dad has gone off the roof. He's alive. Still. That's her real he dad. Landed, he li- yes, right. Her yeah. real father. Uh uh he's alive after landing in some boxes as you yeah. said, Colin. Cuz <laughs> like, you yeah, know. He'll be fine. Eight stories down, some boxes. It's, will a, be fine. it's a very tall building. Yeah. He should be dead. Uh but he goes in and he's he, because he thinks that he thinks the dad is killing people, right? Yep. Okay. And then he's trying to run in the warner and he gets up to her and he hugs her and then she stabs him. Right. She has in the a little stomach. bit of pale makeup. Yeah. On. Yes. So it's we very can pale. tell it's like, oh, her hoodie zipped. Yep. Right. Which is what I was waiting for. Yeah. I'm like, it's unzipped with her. And I'm like, does she zip it up to kill people? Because yep. that's what it looks like. So I like these, like, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Like these touches they have in this movie. Like these are. Yeah. Surprise! Yeah, it is a twin. <laughs> it's a twin. Mm-hmm. Uh, to surprise in. everybody except for for Holly. Had That's this right. Out. So right, right. then, <laughs> then you get the killer confession. You know, it's oh, like, yeah. yeah, my dad, our dad, right, the burn guy, Randall, yeah. was following me around. You know, trying to clean up after me, but I was gonna. I'm going to kill you and all your friends. I'm going to take your place, which yeah. doesn't make a lick of fucking sense, but she's crazy. She's crazy. So yeah. uh, there you go. And then uh, she is about to kill her dear uh, sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's a gunshot. She's blasted right through the fucking chest. So we're like, oh, shit. I mean, it's a perfect, you know, uh, horror sh- movie kind of. Yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. it's the shot you want. Yeah. It's the shot you always want. Mm-hmm. You kill a shot through the chest. Falls down. Right as she's about to like, hey, get ready for it. Bam. Yep. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Who killed her? Boom. Falls down, reveals the person with the gun behind her. A classic shot. Yep. We all love it. And it's Vera Miles. Yeah. With Clue Gulliger's Chekhov's gun. Yes. Right? Obviously. Should we just call it Clue's gun from now on? Clue's gun. As an <laughs> Introduce <laughs> your first act must go off by the third. Yep. Perfect. Perfect execution. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Uh, so, and that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, we then we go back. To, then we, I mean, there's people on stretchers and stuff. Yeah, I was like, and, Colin's not just saying that. That's no. literally what we. But get. then they they <laughs> hit the soap opera ending. music, stop on a freeze frame of her, and uh, it's we're just out. people looking at each other. That's it. Like it's just moms looking at at, at Princess Vespa, and she's looking at her boyfriend on the stretcher, and they look at each other, and she gets, like gets in the car, and then that's it. Oh yeah, so freeze frame. boyfriend, the teacher's assistant, yeah. does survive. Okay, so yeah, in case you were worried. I he mean, lives. D- <laughs> he's on that stretcher. He's like sweating. Like they left. He's been stabbed. They've yeah. left he's, him alone. Yeah. I'm like, he's gonna die if you guys don't like yeah. get him he's into been the ambulance. Bleeding out for he a doesn't while. look good. No. He looks a little like. He's I love you, a- but I need to go. Yeah, he's gonna need a pretty extensive transfusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there it is. There you go. It oh, ends yeah. like a like a lifetime movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those elements purposely put into this movie by the writers. That is what they wanted to go. They wanted to go a little soap opery with it, which is why they added the family drama element of this. Oh, you can tell. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we should, uh, we should tell po- people what we think of this I movie. Mean, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, if we have to, we're going to pause for a brief moment and we're going to read some of your mail, but to do that, we're going to have to get the mail over here and to do that, <laughs> And I'm not lifting it, so... I know. And no one's going to carry this mailbag, except for Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. I got nothing. All right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thankful for you, Igor. 
That's um, all. Okay, well, MF Mad wants us to, wants us to know that we are also inducting Christopher Bradley to oh, the, name sounds familiar. the wall or the hallway. You determine. So he was Chad in this movie. Chad? Chad? Okay. Chad, anyone? Chad yeah. is one of the Jamie guys. Jamie in The Wraith. Yeah. Which would be, yeah. he? oh, so that, that was Charlie Sheen's brother. Yeah. Jamie, the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh. And uh, he was, uh, or no, no, sorry. That was Charlie Sheen as a young Right? Wasn't Charlie Sheen's character Jamie in the different? Wasn't yeah. he different? He was the actor. other guy. Yeah. Okay, so he was the other guy playing Charlie Sheen's character, and he was also Stefan, which would be the werewolf kid from Waxwork. Oh. He was the one who turns into werewolf with John Reese Davies and okay, okay. Stefan, okay. Stefan, okay, Christopher Bradley, welcome Stephen. to the Hall of Wall. I say Hall Hall of Fame. Welcome to the Hall, hall of Fame. <laughs> Uh, two episodes ago, we had our 500th episode. That was Vampire's Kiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Action Dude writes in and says, congratulations on your 500th episode. Thank that you. is epic. I'm wishing is you epic. one million more as I extend a pinky finger to my mouth in pure Dr. Evil. Uh, okay. <laughs> it all it all came uh, one full circle. One million more. I got it. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Got uh, yeah. I should have said that. <laughs> uh, movie Bacon writes in and says, I've listened to all 500 Congratulations, Aww. guys. That's wow, awesome. thank you. Thank you. Who was that? Movie Bacon. Movie Bacon? M- movie Bacon. Okay, movie that's bacon. a new one. Movie yeah. Bacon. Yeah. Well, welcome, like Movie it. Bacon. I like it. Uh, what's Next writes in and says, Congratulations on the 500 episodes. I bought your I Survived 400 episodes <laughs> t shirt last <gasps> time. Now I must buy the updated one. <gasps> I just purchased oh Vampire's Kiss and I can't wait. To watch it, you Amazing. are going to thank you, and you're going to love it. <laughs> uh, do we have an updated one? Um, Mikhail's not here; she's responsible for the. I don't think the... so, but we should work on one. Yeah, yeah we're on. Uh, get a replacement in there. We'll T Public, you can find yeah, also, T-Public. or just go to. Uh, I think it's Saturday Night Free Show at Blogspot.com, and at the bottom of every uh, episode description, there is a link to our store. There you go. Yeah. Um, Tony Bradshaw writes in and says, "Happy belated." 500th episode. Thank you. I Thank was hoping you. to submit this if you haven't already covered it, but I think this movie, which he is about to reveal, was the second place in the what movie HBO showed the most after Beastmaster. We have not covered it. Rockula. I've, oh, I've heard of that. I have heard of Rockula as well. I think I remember a poster, but yeah. Right. It's like one of the kids from uh, summer school that were obsessed with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Remember them? Summer school with Mark Harmon. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, he's uh, a vampire who can't lose his virginity. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Travis Legler. I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested because it just sounds weird. <laughs> That's almost along the lines of like my best friend's a vampire. Yeah, 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 yeah Okay. Yeah. Or once bitten. It sounds very, yeah. yeah. yeah it sounds very along those lines. Yeah. Um, I don't remember which episode we were talking about. Maybe it was our 500th thing. We were talking about that we used to have a manservant oh, aside Lurch. from Lurch. Uh, yeah, Igor. It was the that was 500. Lurch. We did, we did. And Travis Legler says, you used to guy ha- have Lurch to advise the time has come, uh, sirs, to start your personal reviews and feelings about the movie. Right. And then somehow we retired Lurch. Lurch and- went on his own, you know, like Sam Jackson at yeah. the end of, uh, uh, Reservoir, uh, nope. Um, not Reservoir Dogs, the other one. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, where he's just going to walk the earth. Walk the earth. So that's what Lurch is doing right now. Find walk his Instagram. Yeah. He's been Lurch, to Egypt. He's L- been to Lurch Spain. Is, Lurch <laughs> is on a walkabout. Yeah. yeah, he's like, yeah, he posts every now and again. So yeah, he he's out there. forever, so yeah, he's got the time. Yeah. Uh, about tonight's movie, The Initiation, Morris says, The Initiation rules. I love the department store mall setting, the horror makeup, and the costumes, including the Big D and the twin sister <laughs> twist. P.S. Please watch My Demon Lover. It's right up your alley. My demon lover. Okay. Oh, okay. That's with um okay. that guy from Family we'll Ties. That was Mallory's boyfriend. And fuck, I can't remember his name. Anyway. Uh, What's it Peter called? My Get- demon lover? My demon okay. lover. Putting Writing it list. down. Yep. Yeah. Peter Gett says, ah, the initiation with a twist nobody sees coming. Oh, and is it me or does the character Marsha look a little bit like your own? And then I don't have the rest of that uh, tweet. I'm sorry. I was I clipped it off on accident when I copied Damn it, because I was I wanted like, to know what they what? thought. You could look it up on Twitter. Ugh. Go to our Twitter and look at okay. Because she did seem familiar in that. <laughs> God damn it, that's the one one I wanted to know. Well, he's either gonna say Holly or Michaela. So hold on. Consulting the Twitter. Sorry, will we edit this out later? I'll let you know. But Peter Gat. Oh yeah. Does he look like your own? Holly. Marsha. 
Oh, the the one who oh. had the very upsetting story. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, um, well, I have been known to go out with some big dicks. Yeah, a bang. Uh, thank there you. it is. Thank there you. it is. Thank there you. <laughs> Michael Whitaker says, "Rip Clue Guller." Ah, uh, all right. Uh, and hey, a Princess Vespa movie. And here <laughs> I thought <laughs> she only did Melrose Place. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Talk spooky to me. He says this movie also made me feel like *Malignant* took parts of this movie. Oh, maybe. I mean, yeah. <gasps> all right. Uh, the B movie vault <laughs> says all I know about this movie is that it has a cool poster. This is probably Good unhelpful poster. information for the oral media that is a podcast. You know, because you are right. We made special mention of it just before the movie started that, or at least I did, that I like the poster because it is a, it's a skeleton good hand holding one of the uh, uh, sorority girls as a, as a candle. Yeah. Who's got a flame on her, but there's an eye behind. It's very good. It's a cool, yeah. it's a cool it's poster. A cool it's poster. a good poster. Yeah. No, it's like a good it. poster for the initiation, which we did not watch tonight. <laughs> yes. It's a good poster for whatever that movie was going to be. Yeah. yeah. I want to see that movie. And we'll like, tell you if we'd like yeah. seeing this Satanic movie as well. Satanic Greek rituals and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. We did. Action Dude says if it was made today, it'd be called Vespa and the Views Vape Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were trying to decide last week if you would have liked that movie. We all mm. thought out loud and we couldn't peg it down. Really? Yeah. Oh. I think you'd like it. I think you'd be on like, it's charming. Is it? Yeah, I think you'd like it. What did Novato Judoka think? He said, the machismo of this movie is too hot to handle and too cold to hold. Pleasantly <laughs> surprised with this one, and I would watch it again rather than any Fast and Furious movie. And it's nice to, nice to see Big John Studd in a movie as well. <laughs> right? WWE wrestler, Big John, Big John Studd. Studd. Aaron Dawn Murphy's mom said, this is one disjointed wild ride. Mm hmm. Travis Legler said Mickey Rourke as Marv in Sin City. Oh, my God. Now, that was an awesome performance. Indeed. We, we talked a lot about because he is Harley Davidson. There were some perfect mm -hmm. shots of like but him, standing, him Marv. standing in a hallway yeah. oh, with gotcha. his leather jacket over it. There's a light coming in. And he's oh, smoking. And he just Marv, looks yeah. back to a naked lady in the bed. He's like, I'm going to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was it was beautiful. That grizzly Sin City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got gotcha. you. Like he was meant for it, just based on those shots in this I like movie. it. I like it. And Pat, ha Pat Hatfield writes in and says, so I know you're featuring this movie on your show. And the first thing I thought was, why? 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 This has got to be one of the most low or no effort, uncreative, unimaginative things my 50 some decades old eyes have ever witnessed. <laughs> why didn't you choose a different movie? I'll still listen, of course, because I'm quite confident that one or more of you internet superstars have some well-researched, interesting trivia about the movie, or perhaps one of your customary ventures into how things could have been more creative, or more, could have been if more creative minds such as yours Aww. were at the helm. I mean, that's what we try to do. Well, <laughs> well, I'm hoping by now you've had a chance to listen to it. I yes. was not here. I apologize. Mm -hmm. uh, Vampire's Kiss was the movie we did for our 500th episode. Yeah. We were here for that Harley one. Davis. I was here for that. I remember that one. I was here for that. And I don't know if this could be considered a spoiler, but yes. Michael Whitaker says, I agree. Nick Cage is a man going insane in the movie, but it does seem like the other official descriptions of the movie say he's actually turning into a vampire. How can a movie be this old and nobody agree on what's happening? He's they not. He's not turning into a vampire. <laughs> no, definitely the not. Official <laughs> descriptions like. You know, when you pull it up on yes, even on Amazon. the on the back of the D, I, on the back I, of the Blu-ray, it says that. As I well. like to think it's because they are trying not to spoil it. Yeah, yeah, there, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Marketing. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what I think. It'd yeah. be harder to to add the word "think." Thinks right. he's it, you, right. Yeah. Into a and plus, that kind of like that reads totally different. Yeah. If you're looking at the back of the movie and you're like, a guy thinks he's turning into a vampire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although that's a movie I still want to watch. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Nick Cage thinks he's turning into a vampire. I mean, that makes me want to watch it more. <laughs> right. But that is, there is, yeah, there is a difference there. And it gives you more of the movie you're about to watch, I think, yeah. than is turning into a vampire. Yeah. Because now you can be incredulous and be like, he's not turning into a vampire. Yeah. Do you see those teeth? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all very much for yes. writing in. Did we thank tell you. people how they can write in? I don't no, think we, we didn't. did. Oh, no. Let's tell all them right. how to be part of the Freak Show family. All you got to do is follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. All I can ever think of is that when one of somebody is missing... I would not be able to pick up the slack on the other thing. That. And, that, and that is why I always do it. Yeah. That's right. She always does it. You'd be on, you'd be like, an email. And I'd be like, ah. <laughs> you haven't heard it enough 
at this point in time. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo. Yes. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Congratulations, Sean. I'm I have, very proud. Uh, maybe I just don't have confidence in myself. I Damn, this is something I got to work on. I also hail you when you're not here, too. He comes to my clap. Oh. Yeah. I, I told him to. <laughs> okay. I told him you were, you were, you're on the list of like people who can pick up the child sure, in school. Sure. So you're on the list for Igor. <laughs> Did you, are you signing in and out? You should be. I am. There's yeah. official paperwork for this. No, I know. Okay. Good. All right. Well, All right, now. Because if he escapes and it's your name that was last signed <laughs> in. We're oh. going to you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I get my visitor pass. It's okay. Okay. All go. right. Just make sure. All right. Well, now, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to tell you whether or not you are contractually obligated to watch Holly. the initiation, mm. starting mm. with Holly. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about tonight's movie, The Initiation? Um, It is not the movie I thought we were going to watch, mm. for sure. Um, It's... I was not expecting another slasher in a mall movie. Nah. Didn't see that coming. No one ever is. No, I didn't see that coming. They slip it in there. Um, I, I think I would have liked it to be more sorority, more, you know, Greek, creepy initiation ritual kind of stuff. Um, but also that'd be a different tone of a movie. You know, this was it, this. Like I said, this wasn't that movie. Um, but I think it still had enough good parts to it um it did it did have some fun red herrings as <laughs> sean said red herrings everywhere <laughs> um because i wasn't like I, like you know we talked about earlier on i wondered if that's where they were going but i didn't have that kind of faith in this movie so i didn't <laughs> go with it um so i kept kind of wondering what they were doing so the fact that it kept me guessing um i did enjoy that it had it had enough bloody kills. Um, it could have been more graphic, but it, obviously this movie doesn't have that kind of budget. Um, and it just is that time in movies that they were cutting back on that. So, but it had enough. I think it it had enough to to keep me wanting more. And um, like we talked about, there was some parts that even though we didn't see a lot of graphics, like it was still brutal enough. Mm -hmm. Like it got the point across. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it was still f fun enough that I would recommend it. I think it was it was a good time um, for a first time director for a movie. Not too bad. I mean, we've seen way worse. Well, first feature. First feature. Yes. He had done television. That's what I mean. That, he yeah. did television, but he hadn't done a movie. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to recommend it. I think it was still it was still good enough to to reel you in. Um, I didn't lose interest. So that holds a lot of weight with me with these <laughs> movies. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to recommend Colin. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, something you said there, I, so, you know, I, I'm on a second pass, right? And so yeah. the first time I watched this movie, uh, I was extremely underwhelmed, I got to tell you. I mean, I sat there and I'm like, okay. And I, I think part of it is expectation. You're going into mm -hmm. it, you know, yeah. it's the initiation. It's going to be a sorority girl yeah. uh, horror movie. And it really doesn't kind of go that way. It's a it's a mall horror movie mm -hmm. uh, or slasher and a family drama. <laughs> and, yeah, and a family drama, and a fiery family drama. It's so it's like Dallas with slashers. It yes. is. <laughs> but this time, I guess my perspective was hat, changed. A cowboy hat. I know. So that's why almost like us telling you the spoilers will improve the experience. I think Maybe it does I don't know. At some points, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I think, you know, the points that you made, Ali, like stand up, the murder, the, the kill scenes are good enough. They're better than some of the other, you know, slashers that we've seen that we haven't liked as much. I'll say they're damn solid. Uh, yeah. I think the acting's Passable. pretty good from like everybody involved in the direction. I was like on the, f I'm, that's the one where I'm like, I don't know, because the fact that I was so bored the first time I watched it either but that could have been me you know because this time i'm watching it looking at like okay did they actually do that no. and then it turns out that they did it, it is set up and it is you know there's subterfuge there did you to watch keep it you alone from, the yeah, first time yeah i think that's part of it too. that might have been yeah. yeah a contributing factor it was a lot more fun to watch it with you guys tonight yeah. and to kind of you know hear what you guys were thinking as you went through it and i had a better experience with it and i guess i was trying to you know objectively look at it i just know that you know it's like should i go off of my initial because you no, the you listener go off your experience tonight if i'm going off my experience yes. tonight then i would what recommend the movie yes there you go. yeah i thought because it was you have to give everything that you have experienced up to this point that's what you got to give us yeah. yeah so but i guess what i'm torn is is like would the 
average person watching this for the first time have my first experience? I think we have to. Do we have to start getting rid of I the mean, average people? I, f- I feel, yeah, because we stop we, referring we to them because well, we know we're not. Like, would you recommend it to right. somebody? It's like I'm recommending this movie, and then they watch it and they're bored out of their mind. And you're like, but yeah, your your perspective was different than mine because I was well, watching I mean, it a second time. You know what it, I mean? We've done it before. Where we'll give, we'll almost give caveats. You know, we're like, yeah. obviously, I wouldn't recommend it to my parents, but would I recommend it to people listening, listening to the show? To this yes. Show. And yeah, would I, I recommend so. it to someone? And it seems like a lot of them have seen it. Yeah. You know, so and would I recommend you watch it alone? Probably not. You should probably watch it with people. Yeah. You know. Or if let's put it this way, if there's ever movies someone... are just designed to be watched with people. I think in general, I think so. They play yeah. better, but. What were you going to say? Some uh, movies. Uh, I forgot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's always no, the risky I'll, run. Like, yeah, sorry. come back to me. <laughs> no, but I'm sorry. You, All right. Well, yeah. that would be a recommend for me. Sean, what'd you think? Um, yeah, I'm also going to recommend this movie. Um, I think this is a very, this is a very solid movie. And any movie um, that can uh, get me uh, guessing until the end uh, I got to give it, you know, points for that because, again, uh, we've seen a lot of movies mm-hmm. and, you know, part of the fun, although, is just trying to figure that out. Who did it? How the movie's constructed? How they're going to finish it off and all that. Um, I mean, I like the movie. I do. I like the kills. Um, I like it's got the things you want, all the expo- exploitation elements in it. Um, it's got Clue Gulliger. It's got very much. I, I, I think this is. I enjoyed this movie tonight. I enjoyed watching it with you guys. But I think there's aside from our show stopping moment, which still makes. I know it goes for her character arc, but I think we could have done that in other ways. I'm guessing. I think they should have cut that out and instead showed us the kill of the guy in the bathroom. Probably. <laughs> um. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, I do like the movie. I think you should watch it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. It's mm-hmm. got a lot of good elements in it. Yeah, I recommend you it. You were entertained. I was entertained tonight. Mm-hmm. I had a good time with this. I laughed. There's some good stuff in here. Yeah. Good back and forth between some of the characters. I don't think uh, what's her name who plays Kelly. I don't Daphne. think. Yeah, I don't think Z- Zuniga. Yeah, I don't think she's is good an actor. Mm. I mean, based off again, I've only seen her in like two things. Um, I think she fits the Spaceballs role very well. See, I didn't like her in Spaceballs. I thought that was like, that's not one they, I, I didn't think that would get her hired to do something else, but she was in Melrose uh, Place. Well, but I think, <coughs> well, I don't know. She's bratty in that, but she's supposed to be. She's the princess of yeah. all yeah. that stuff and everything. But I don't, yeah, I don't think she's, I don't put her high on that acting list, but whatever. Um, everyone together in this makes, it, it makes it good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I was entertained. I think you should watch it too. I think you'd be entertained by it. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous in some areas. I think Michaela would have liked it. I think so too. I think she would have liked it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get a lot in this and it's, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, the family drama, the fiery family drama is very good, too. <laughs> but it is it is soap op. It's soapy. It's yeah. overly dramatic. Well, I it's, think uh, Holly said when the movie was over, it's like, well, it ended like a Lifetime it movie. It does. Yeah. And uh, it's which got, is where these movies are now. I right. Guess, modern versions. But of it. Uh, yeah. But I mean, that's what made it fun, enjoyable tonight. So, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you should watch it. Yeah. It was good. Well, all right. Uh, that means that you are contractually obligated to True. watch the movie. Correct. Um, I didn't mention it when we were watching it, but Vera Miles, she had reprised her role uh, from Psycho in Psycho 2. Mm-hmm. And she's uh, The very year good. before this, yeah. Oh, was it the year before? It was the in oh, yeah. 83, yeah. I was going to say, she, she looks back. similar to that. Yeah, she's very good in that. I like that she's taken the roles in these movies. Like yeah. Because she was good in that. All right. Well, uh, that's uh, Freak Show approved. Yeah. And so next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about the movie because of the disparate storylines that stay apart for so long and then they come together. I don't know. Just, I'm, I'm still thinking about the movie, which is another reason why yeah. I recommend it. Holly, what are we watching next week? Uh, next week we're staying in the 80s. Ooh, love the 80s. We're going to watch Slaughterhouse Rock. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Slaughterhouse Rock. Okay. Yeah, it takes place on Alcatraz. It sure does. Come oh. On. I've always wanted to see it. There's a vampire on yes, the cover. Yes, there is. Oh, I have no idea what this We're movie is. Okay. Slaughter- <laughs> have you Slaughter- seen it? Slaughterhouse Rock. Slaughterhouse Rock. Okay. Yeah. Don't okay. expect music. That's it's, my yeah, question. It's not, it's is there going to be rock? It's, it's Alcatraz, The Rock. Oh, yeah. Slaughterhouse Rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's it. okay. You got it. Yeah. No, I grew up. I just up. wanted to shut that down. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Because I didn't want to think I about know. the whole, uh, like, I grew up with, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse Rock. Yeah, so wanted, it all goes together. I saw your now. face. I wanted yeah. to shut it down. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah. Good. Because this was part of, didn't Shudder just put this on like this month? I thought so they, they put like a bunch of all these rock oriented uh, uh. horror movies. And I think that was on there. Maybe. But not as a, maybe I'm wrong. That is misleading. We'll, is we'll there a picture of Alcatraz on the cover of this? There should be. Yes. yes. I think it's yes. Alcatraz with this big, like, some dude like, who's a vampire. vampire head, like, yeah. <laughs> floating okay, this sounds great. Okay. All right. Well, that's next week. Tony Basil's uh, in it. Who? Tony Basil. Tony Basil. That, that sounds familiar. Like we. She's saying Mickey. Oh, you're still fine? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a musical She's connection it. to it. Yeah. Okay. Does she perform? Well, you have to wait until next week <laughs> to find out on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, Well, we thank you for listening, and until next week, then, the basement is going dark.